Louise Houghton. Welcome to the show today, a special edition of Euromax which focuses on the five top destinations in Europe. I'm not going to reveal where they are, but this quick look forward might just give three of the cities away. So you might have figured out a few of Europe's top destinations, but which order do they come in? That is the question. We start the show off with a look at the place that falls into fifth place. It is Barcelona. The Spanish city attracts more than 7 million tourists each year. It has architecture, tasty Mediterranean food, a beach by the city, and that's just the half of it. So let's get the ball rolling by taking a tour around some of the hottest spots in the Catalonian capital. Well, another country with such wonderful temperatures in the summer is Italy, and it's Rome that comes in fourth place now. Like all cities, it's not uncommon to see chewing gum stuck to the floor, under tables or even on statues. Artist Maurizio Savini wanted to show how frustrated he gets with this through his work. He uses this manual sticky gum as a material for his sculptures, and the majority of them have a social or political message and make a statement. Well, after Barcelona and then Rome, I'm pleased to say that in third position amongst Europe's top destinations is the lovely place where we are now, Berlin. This city has so much culture and history. Since the fall of the wall, the capital is changing and developing all the time. And yet sometimes people just come here for its prestigious nightlife. There was a debate recently as to whether Berlin is still as cool as it used to be. So we hit the streets to hear what the people here think about the German capital. Yeah, it's certainly been buzzing out by the Brandenburg Gate behind us, that is for sure. Now, the fashionistas amongst us will be well aware that Paris is famous for its haute couture. You see, haute couture is a legally protected term and the label can only be recognised in this way after meeting several criteria. One being that it must have a studio in Paris. As this city comes in second place, we thought exploring the politics of these elite fashion forces was a great way to showcase the French capital. Well, we've reached the number one spot. Which city is it going to be? If I told you there was royalty, theatre, tea, architecture, could you guess? Well, to showcase what's been named as the most popular destination in Europe, we're taking a look around a traditional Victorian house. Though this one is not so traditional on the inside because the owners have knocked two of them together and created a fantastic modern and spacious home in amongst the busy housing hub in, yes, London. So there we have it. The top five European destinations are Barcelona, Rome, Berlin, Paris and in first place, London. You can find more reports on these cities on our website if you like, but that is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed the show and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.